friend. I'm in. All right, folks, uh, this is going to be a let's play of my very first game of Age of Wonders 3. Not only multiplayer game, but uh, a game period. I thought we were calling it Age of Blunders. Age of Blunders, <laughs> as that's Matt Barton, the in, the uh, one and only Matt Barton from Matt Chat. If you don't know who he is, shame on you, and go search for... Uh, Matt Chat website and also the YouTube videos, absolute best uh, video game history and interview show out there in my opinion. It's excellent stuff. He has some really good guests and uh, one of the best inter interviewers I've ever seen as he says he's learned to just get out of the way and let people talk. So what's going to happen with this, I'm going to do a quick intro and then we'll just play as if nobody's watching so I'm not going to be commenting through the whole game. Uh, but this is Age of Wonders 3, which is sort of a fantasy civ uh, civilization. Um, Matt's played the a little bit of it. Thing. Yeah, it's uh, Might and Magic Heroes. Heroes and Might and Magic Kings yeah, Bounty. Uh, slash civilization. So uh, I, have, I have no idea what I'm doing, and so you're probably going to see me get spanked in a uh, quite handy way. All right, so Matt, can we change who our leader is here, or is it random? Uh, we can change it, or you can make it random, but we have to wait for the next step. All right. Have to wait for Mr. Dang. Sody Pop. Okay. I'm oh, and that's uh, Luke Barton. The uh, there would be no Mad Barton without Luke Barton. Well, there probably would be, but it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> it just wouldn't be the same. Nope. Nope. I'm a Matt's brother. All right, so have you played any of this yet, Luke? I know you were playing Civilization uh, Five earlier tonight. Uh, the, I played on it a little bit. I lost on the tutorial. Okay. Well, I, I haven't played it at all. All I've seen is some Let's Plays. So. It kind of reminds me of games of my past, like, um, uh, what was that one? Really popular. What was that Might and Magic one? Yeah, Heroes of Might and Magic. Heroes of Might and Magic. It kind of reminds me of that. It kind of reminds me of Warlords. Well, it looked to me... I was talking me... to Nathan about it last night, and he, he claims there were a whole bunch of games before King's Bounty there were what? in that same vein. Okay. And, I mean, he would know. His well, game Warlords knowledge is pretty extensive. It was pretty old. Ooh. There was one called Empire. It was set in World War II, but, you know, Warlords was a fantasy-based... King's okay. Bounty was fantasy. So this here, what we're seeing, is instead of uh, like real world leaders in civilization, you get to pick some fantasy hero. And these guys will actually be on the battlefield fighting with you. Okay. Now, if I remember right... So you basically have a choice of race, like high elf, goblin, dwarf, and orc, I believe. Might be another one. Yeah, and then class, the rogue, sorcerer, arch druid. So you're basically looking the for the class, uh, class trick combo you enjoy. Dwema Strongmouth, Theocrat Dwarf, Drugal the Stout. He's a dreadnought. Arch druid human. That's pretty cool. Barrider the Bold. Who, who are you guys going with? I guess I'll go with Yuzo the Rat. Is there really use of the rat in here? <laughs> there is. You know, I don't really like him, but he is called the rat. He is know. a rat. Just... And if you, if you don't know... He's a rat. I kind of have to... Matt Barton is um, kind of famous to and him. infamous for his love of rats in video games, fantasy games. Ooh, Isabella Van Helden, rogue human, sorcerer dwarf. And I'm assuming these guys have different abilities they bring to the table. That's right. Yeah, the Dreadnoughts are the Engineers, uh, the Sorcerer, so that's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah. Alright. Warlord High The Warlords, I believe, are the sort of damage focused DPS warrior types, and the uh, there's another class It's more of a tank. Okay. I wonder what the Elves are like. I don't know. I'm thinking about going with this sorcerer elf, the warlock of Insulder, high elf sorcerer. 
campaign starts you off with a rogue, and then they shift you to a druid. I think I'm going to go with this. Uh... Playing as. Go ahead. I'm playing as that rogue elf that they start you out with in the campaign. Okay, yeah, so it says here, Dreadnoughts work in a world of pulleys, boilers. So since they don't have gnomes, Dreadnoughts are basically kind of like gnomes, like inventors and stuff, right? So that's kind of the classical fantasy trope. Warlords, um, master tacticians, often legendary warriors into themselves. All right, well, I know Luke, Luke, Luke's time is limited, so I think... I'm just going to jump in with this Warlord Dwarf. So, I'm good with that. I took... Not the Warlord Dwarf! Not oh, anything! Screwed. Yeah. No one expects the Warlord Dwarf. Alright, Baird or the Bald? Not the Brave, the Bald. For some reason... So, I don't you any... get another hero right away. The little guy standing outside your town, there is a... He'll join you. As soon as you run over him. Right, for some reason, I'm not getting sound... I've got the game, but I don't have sound. Oh well. Hangrid oh. the hard bottom. You know, I don't. I don't want to go there. I don't want to talk about how Matthew, hard or soft somebody's Matthew, bottom remember is. Remember earlier when you lost your leader? You know, your leader returns to your throne city. Yeah, but I didn't lose the leader. I lost my little pickup hero. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So it says here a hero offers to join Ragnar. Or Ragnar the Crusader, a level one theocrat, wants to join forces. So, but it cost me a hundred gold. So I guess I'll go ahead and accept that. Uh, protect your leader in Throne City, allied. Vig so we're all on a team here, right? We're co-op. Is that how you set it up, Matt? All right. All right. Select a skill to yeah, research. What do you guys want to research? Oh, I don't think that's collaborative okay. in this game. Um, it might. No, I don't think it is. What skill so you have you certain with, uh, you have certain skills unique to your class and race, I believe. All right. I'm some that research, we all should have. I'm gonna research warfare one. Oh, I don't. I'm have gonna it. research basic sea firing. Yeah, it's probably good. I don't. I don't think I have any C right on me right off the bat, but I did look at that. Okay, so I have one army. Okay. So is this like Civ, where you basically want to send your army? exploring to open up the terrain mm-hmm yep that's right remove the cloud of war yeah um, the rat yeah. has already won about or, or the fog of war or whatever whatever it is oh I got it I lost a couple of troops all right and so then, I've got... you know in your city you can set your city up to make things on a cube all right so I'm on my army uh, what do I right click to move him? Yep. Okay, yep. I'm fighting. You engage independent Treasure forces. Rating. I'll probably get a defeat. Oop. So can I run? Oh, I think what I did was I sent my hero into battle thinking it was uh, an army. You might also it. have the spells that you can cast on your. on this map. If you click that star cast spells sometimes you'll be able to make your cities flourish or summon special troops oh, they're actually okay, quite then. powerful cast spell let's see authority of the sword forces neighboring lands to submit to the empire's rule so is this a turn do I click in turn or does it just keep going and going and going is this turn based no you it's turn turn based oh I actually lost my my hero died in that first battle. <laughs> I'm going to move my hero oh, back. Oh, that's pathetic. At least it was my leader, so he's, he'll come back in a few turns. Man, I'm never picking that rat again. That's the second okay, time he's let army. me down. Alright, there's rat. my army. Dirty rat. Alright, so I'm going to... It says auto combat, so I'm assuming if it's multiplayer, it's auto combat. You don't get to micromanage the combat. Actually, you can, but it's a big... You know, who wants big to sit around watching everybody okay. else? Yeah. All right, well, I won that, uh, and I explored a destruction node and got 16 Chris or mana. Got 16 mana. Here's the deal, guys. This is a burning question. Is it mana or mana? I'll say mana. 
I'm more of a mana guy. More of a mana kind of guy? Alright. Yeah. So what else can I do? If I click on my city, what happens? Is it like Civ you where I can go something? in and... Oh, okay. Ooh, a battering ram. Now you want to click on those different kinds of tabs. Tabs, there, yeah, can... see that? Raise. You got upgrades and... Throne city. I guess you could try to raise your own city. I don't know why you would do that. Now, is there a settler type where you can send out and establish another city? There is. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to see so much of that on the small map, but maybe. Okay. Um, I'm going to swap mics real quick. This is Does my mic seem to be kind of popping on y'all's end? A little is bit. It's a little staticky. All right. Well, I want to swap just out. Tad. Yeah, I noticed it the other day on the podcast we did, the Matt Ta Chat Extended, when I was listening to some of the playback, it was kind of poppy. So I'm going to change mics here real quick. Can't believe I lost my rat already. What your <sighs> your hero or your main person? <sighs> Stupid leader, you just I don't know. Can't this believe you fell in combat. It was, they, it was uh, it they, said uh, they, very Matthew. probable. I know well, that was very, very likely to victory. win and he died. I mean what the heck? That that is weird. Very weird. I would think that if it said you're gonna win, you're gonna win. Well, well, I guess there's always a certain random streak to it. That's even worse. Luke and I were playing earlier. I lost my uh, my pickup hero right away in a stupid battle. Shouldn't have been a, any sweat. And those guys are hard to replace. I don't even know how you replace them, really. What would you rate this game on graphics, Matthew? Looks good to me. I like it. I see like little birds flying. I like. Yep. The water looks. I see like little lilies in the water. The lilies. That's at least as good as Civ Five graphics. All right. So I've I've won a. I won a battle. What's this, this guy here? A gold mine explored. Okay. Uh. uh should I build an arena, builder's hall, storehouse, shooting grounds, hmm. laboratory. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to do a war hall. Uh, so that's what I'm producing. And I'm going to end my turn. So I I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing on your end. Is it like you're already on like turn five or have y'all been waiting on me? We're waiting, waiting on you. On you. Okay, I didn't know that. Sorry. It says, are you sure you want to end your turn? You still have some unfinished to-do events available. I don't... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead yeah, and end You might turn. have some troops you haven't moved. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Just not to... Now, Shane, you do know you got a map in the lower mm -hmm. yeah. right. And you can click... The, you can see me and Matthew on there. Okay, cool. One thing I like about the map, I don't think I've seen this in a game before, is the map in the lower right hand corner looks like a fantasy map you know what i mean like it's not um yeah super you know it's not a super realistic map it's it's almost like a fantasy map i think that's kind of neat all right so what is this this is independent armies so now how do i stack or can i stack my hero in with my my main army or you is can there stack a maximum up to six. stack? Okay, it's a maximum stack. I if see. you have them adjacent, though, they'll still participate in combat. Okay, well, I'm going to move him here. And then I'm going to move him. No mercy. Units tremble in fear before you. They're trying to flee the battle. What do you yeah, want to do? Yeah, that's what happened to me, and I said, no mercy, and my rat died. Oh, well, it looks like you get... It's almost like... Uh, Nice old public, you have dark side and light side points almost. 
Because you get negative if yeah, you go no mercy, line, but... or you get. Huh, I'll let them run. Alright, go ahead, guys. This didn't seem very rat like to me to let them yeah, go. Yeah, to let them run. Yeah, I gotcha. Exploring the Magma Forge, you discover 50 gold. I'll take that. Okay, so what else is going on? Really don't know what I'm doing here. Which one are you, sir? I'm the dwarf. Yeah, I'm Barrator the Bald. So you got a refugee camp right south of your town. You should go look at that, and that'll expand your city. I just. Uh, it's like oh, you're okay, heading for so a battle there. I have an offer to make you. Okay, I just oh, found mind, that's, that's I just guy. stumbled into the diplomacy screen. Uh, okay, so you're saying I have a what south of me? If you look directly south of your city, past the border, there's a refugee camp. Oh, I see. So how do I... Do I just move an army into it? Yeah, move an army into it and it'll expand your city. Okay, I'll send my hero over there. Can I move him? Is he done with movements? I can't tell what's going on here. I guess they can still move. Hmm. If you click on your army, it'll show you which units in the army still have movement points. If you oh, look okay. underneath their All portraits, right. they'll have gotcha. little feet. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, he's supposed to have 30. Yeah, I'm going to send him down to the... Alright, get on down there, boy. Guess he can't move any further. All right, out of move points, and I'm gonna move my main. Veradir the bald. He's bald. If there's one thing he is, he's bald. <laughs> what is this up here? Uh, that is a. Oh, that's the army I let go earlier. Let's see if they tremble in fear again. Okay, so. Um, I have another army. Where would these guys come from? Uh, I'm going to move him down and stack with my uh, hero that I bought for a hundred. Alright, so now they're stacked. And... Shane stacks. Now. Shane stacks, knows how to stack units. An army requires your orders. Once again, folks, if you happen to be watching this, uh, this is not intended to be an in-depth uh, exploration of the game with people who are expert at it. I'm just kind of fumbling my way through it. Alright, I'm going to attack this army again and see if they... Fl yeah, they, they're trembling in fear in fear before me. What are they? They're like little... Yeah, I don't know. Guess I'll let them run again and keep racking up these um, points. These positive points. I got 50 more gold. What is this thing? Right, go get them. So you can... If you have enough movement points, you can actually get multiple battles in one turn. It looks like. Everything I encounter is trembling in fear before me. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Did I... Hmm. Well, I told you guys to, to run. Alright, let me go down to this refugee camp. Oh, it's got a pretty good zoom in level. I just lost my little hero. Your what? My little hero, I lost it just then. Fighting what, these independents? I noticed they call these independents and not barbarians. Like, in, I gained 858 yeah. people. No, I was actually, I was attacked. I didn't attack them. They came up and attacked me. Where? What attacked you? 
Well, like I was exploring some ruins and they, they said uh, you were attacked and I didn't have an option to run. Yeah, let's just call those those guys Barbies. Barbies. That's what Mad Merv likes to call them. Uh, I have a probable victory. Independence. Cast spells in combat. I wonder if they were self-conscious about not seeming too similar to Civ. Yeah, but well, they have to be. I attacked Independence and I won. And I got 45 gold. I could tell you, ooh, a hero leveled up. Cool. Let me upgrade him. Uh, ooh, this is cool. I can already tell it definitely has that just one more turn, you know, feel that Civ does. Oh, let me just see what happens next. So what do I want to give him? Just one more turn and I'll be able to cast the spell. Yeah. Uh, cast spells in combat. Devout. Fire protection. During the campaign, I was able to summon these horn demons eventually. Oh, these really? guys are pretty tough. Yeah, they had this big lightning AoE. Of course, it took about four or five turns to cast. Okay, so that was cool. Funny thing is, them. according to the manual, mana is a lot more precious than gold, but I found the opposite to be true. I never have enough gold and always have this huge abundance of mana. This game has a manual? A what? This game has a manual? Well, uh, did you say a oh. manual or a mineral? Manual? Manual? Uh, yeah, like, I haven't read a yeah. manual for I think a game. Hit F1. I haven't read one of those in the in those 64 days. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right. That's why you lost your little hero. Your little hero <laughs> went down. Ooh, I researched Warfare 1. What do I want to... So, <laughs> my rat's back. Yeah, your, um, your, your heroes, I think, if they die, they're gone. But if your main leader dies, I think he respawns at the uh, throne city. Yeah, you're correct. So, produce Berserker. Huh. Scorched Earth. Warfare 2. Uh, Very I'm, likely victory. I'm going to research fertility oh, rates. Okay. My dwarves are uh, frisky. You know, something else pretty cool is you can get these... Uh, Inventory items for your, your heroes. I can't tell if Hingrid the hard bottom is is a guy or a girl. I I'm not sure I want to know. I know that I fat, bottom a, world, fat bottom world fat bottom. We're going like for a transgender look here. I, I... Okay, so I think I found another civilization or whatever you call it. Um, if I walk into their borders, is it like instant war? Oh, you visit the domain of Yeah, you'll be trespassing. War. I don't think it's instant war, but... Uh, let me see if I can negotiate with this guy. They won't take kindly to it. I won't like that very much. The outpass of Earth 4. He's independent. Population orc, slightly good. Since when is orcs slightly good? Uh, prepare to be destroyed or let us open our borders to each other's armies hmm. Sundran has won a battle I'm going to exit out of that and just go explore the we heroes also have a lot of cool stuff when they level up skills that can yeah, affect either I was just able them to, or the whole army I was able to level earlier oh I'm entering sort of a magma volcano area and also mount them Actually, I had some of my heroes on flying mounts. Now, one thing I noticed, or that I saw in the let's plays that I've seen of this so far, is the terrain. I think makes even more of a difference uh, than in Civilization. It seems to have a huge effect on not only like city growth, but how well you perform. Yeah. You, engage. you can build a troop that will, like a worker in Civ, it'll build roads for you. I won. And there's also spells you can get to change the type of terrain. Oh, that's nice. Alright. 
Well, so far my hero is kicking booty. Ooh, I found a great farm. We ought to... We ought to move points. Okay, nice. Um, click to end turn. Now, if you don't want to move a troop, you can either put him in the camp, which will basically just make him quit pestering you, or this hit the check mark. Just skip one turn. How do I see what I'm building? I am building a war hall. Okay. And you Andy go to Warhol? the top left corner, there's a overview panel you can turn on and tab over to cities. I'm wondering why I can't... get any sound going. I don't know if it's because I switched my output device after the game had already started. I'm going to settings again, see if I can get some sound going. I noticed that earlier. Were you in the game when you switched out your headphones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that too, and it the sound was coming through the speakers. I couldn't get it to come through my headset. Well, I can't get. I had to quit any... the game and restart. Uh, yeah, I can't seem to get any sound at all. Some kind of glitch. Yeah. I think maybe I hear a very tiny bit. Yeah, I hear just a tiny bit. I think I see part of the problem here. Confirm army movement. Yeah. What is this? Independence. Go get them! Man, I am hemorrhaging troops. Okay. So here's this guy. Yeah, go get him. Units tremble in fear before you. There must be something about my hero that gives me the option to let people run or not. Because every... Not my hero, but my leader, every time I get into a fight, um, I give him the chance to run. Or, you know, I have the option. Who is this? Army Independence. Let's go get him. That is my phone. hung up on me or what I think there's a little oh, bit of lag going on what I'm trying to figure out is if you guys heal every turn or if they only heal if you've got movement points left what if you have the healing okay, so they heal do they heal faster if they're in your city yeah let's look that up in the manual Healing. The old manual. Okay, Fast so I found a... another civilization here, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, what's this? Healing. Gold mine explored. What's this? Gold stash. A stash of gold. Let's go get it. Sweet stash. It looks like the troops heal. It's like you can buff it up with the skill, but I guess they. They heal every turn. I don't know, why don't we see? So this guy's got 18 hit points. Let's see what it says next turn. This is kind of neat. If you if you scroll out with your mouse wheel, then eventually it just switches over to that kind of stylized map. Nice little effect. That is cool. Yeah. Uh, just, it's not real smooth on my end. When I 
scroll the map around, there's a bit of a... Is it kind of jumpy? I wonder if yeah, that's because on your end you're not... running the game, too. I don't know, because mine seems pretty smooth. I was doing it on my campaign, too. It's just... Yeah. It's barely noticeable, but... Do you have your graphic settings all the way up? No, they're just on high. I got mine on ultra. I'm getting uh, 50 frames per second on my hardware. Even when you scoot around the map? Yep. I mean, it dips. It, it stays between 50 to 45 frames, which is oh, I'm happy with. Yeah. I oh, think my, my graphics city card group. or something in my settings somewhere, there's... I just don't think I'm getting the performance that my city I deserve. Crew. Pool of the Firstborn unlocks the production of special racial units. Huh. Racial? Pool. Racial. So like s units that I get, I guess, just because I'm a dwarf. Is that for your race or for the... Uh... I don't know. Uh, well, no, it's I'll, for my race. I was kind of wondering yeah. if you put, if you have a mixed army with different races, I wonder if there's any penalties. Mm. Or bonuses for that. Well, this unlocks dwarf. Like, do the orcs ones. hate elves? That kind of thing. Does it affect morale? A builder's Hall. What is that? Stonewall, Sage Workshop, Arena, Infantry Units, hmm. Storehouse, City Generates an Additional, plus 100. Yeah, I'm going to go for Storehouse. Let's produce it. Yeah, I gotta get a new headset. This thing is sounding really poppy in my ears. Alright. What Army kind of headset owner. do you have? Oh, who's Sundren? That's it me. Says, that's you? Okay. I'm about to mm -hmm. come past you here, so. Yeah, these guys heal every turn regardless of if you move or not. Now, explain the I don't healing. I know is, if they heal faster if you're in town. Is that only if you have a hero that has the healing ability or do they does everybody heal every turn? Uh, it just so happens this this hero does have a healing buff. So I don't know about that one. Now The Tome I, of Knowledge doesn't seem to say The Tome of Knowledge Consult the Tome of Knowledge. So Consult the very skimpy tome of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, you should see the uh, the manual for Shadowrun Online. It's literally a splash screen that has one, two, three. It says move. A link to the a link to the forums. No, it's not even that. It's like move, attack, and uh, reload. I mean, that's the whole manual. Yeah, this uh, these headsets. It's about time to replace them. They've been they've been good for for the time I had them. Now I just saw a unit of an empire that says I'm already at war with them. So I don't get that, but I guess they declare maybe they just don't like anybody. Guard some house. people are very some people are very pro manual. Some people. I think they're in decline these days. You talking about? Well, there was. Uh, oh, my care. alignment has been changed slightly. Good. There is uh, years ago, Lucas Arts released a game um, called. Uh, oh, what was it? Matt? You'll probably know this game. Um, it was kind of like a Sim City, but it was like heaven and hell. And you could either build in heaven or build in hell. Um, anyway, they left the manual out. And then there was just some stuff on the CD. And there was a huge blowback from people over it. And what they found was, in their research, most people don't read the manual. But they want the manual for that one thing they have to look up. So you can't just completely yeah. leave a manual out. Well, because, the manual's you know, a good way to get a lot of concentrated information. Well, there used to be an art to the manual. You know, the manuals were cool and to I look agree. at. I yeah. agree. You should be able to figure most stuff out just by playing the game in context. and Pop up. Uh-oh, what is that? Oh, my hero leveled up. 
tier one animal. Oh, I'm going to lose my rat again. I'm going to swap my microphone because even if, if this other microphone is going to pick up some background fan noise off my computer, but this poppin's driving me nuts. I got to get a new you headset. Know, probable victory is just not enough. Yeah, it's, I've so far <laughs> I've won everything, but you know that doesn't mean that it's a definite. I need to see very likely. All right, I apologize for the uh, background noise there. Okay, so I can give my hero armor piercing, overwhelm, wall climbing, defense command, blood honor, plus one defense, plus one range strength. I think I'm going to get him hit points. All right. What the heck is that? Watchtower. Go get him, hero. This is a very likely victory. Would that would that be enough to entice you to attack, Matt? A very likely. Yeah, that would be enough. Ooh. I won. I just uh, you know this auto combat. I notice I'm losing a lot more troops than I would if I were doing it manually. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the way with games, isn't it? You know, auto combat is almost never as good as what you want. Yeah. Now there's a guy like here leaving things to the government. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Comb the lucky and it says I'm at war with him. Are you guys at war with Comb the Lucky? Well you should be at war with everyone on the map, right? Well I've run into some civs or empires or whatever that I'm not. Huh. To comb win. the unlucky? No, it's Comb the For Lucky. For us to win we have to eliminate all comb other the empires. One. Army requires my orders. Looks like I'm about to face off against a zebra. An orange <laughs> yellow zebra. A I'm already at war. I, Balder the Bald has fled to the void and will return? What? Yeah, you just lost your hero. How? It's got to go into that? timeout. Until then, you're all probably in chaos. What? In he the just heck? goes to time out for a few few rounds. He'll be back. Right. Well, that's weird because um, just don't lose your heroes, or they don't come back. Yeah. Well, I th I, th I thought I won that. fight. I guess I won the fight, but lost my lost my dude. Your dude was probably on the front line. So that's another thing in manual combat. You can flee or keep your Keep your guys well out of well out of harm's way. All right. So I have one. Okay. So can you like in civilization? Can you reinforce an army? Like tell them to dig in. Because I'm not seeing an uh, option like that. That camp option. I don't know if that gives you any kind of defensive bonus. You can build a fortress. Oh. Yeah, it just says remove the have armies a from worker. Those armies. Okay. Well, I'm I'm in a watchtower, but all that does is increase your visibility. I guess I'll just leave him there. Well, that's a bummer. It might give you a little bit of a defensive bonus. I. Yeah, you have a walled city. Awesome. I'm gonna camp him so it'll stop telling me that. Wait one turn. Yeah, let's wait one turn. Click to enter. Well, so far, I mean, I know this is not by any means um, the, you know, the game as a whole, but so far I, I kind of like this game. So I'm going to come look at you guys see what's going on. Sundren of House Inioc, that's Luke. And then let me go check out Matt. Asbog, Throne of Baradir, Goblin Town. Okay. Very likely victor. Oh, the Outpost of Curse 4 has a quest available. So what's this about? So this is like city-states in Civ. 
where they're offering quests. We have got an urgent matter to discuss that can improve the relationship between people. The walking dead are haunting our domain. The night guard is panicking. Society is on the brink of collapse. Please slay these horrors. All right, tell me more about this quest. Duration, I have to do it within 10 turns. It's very easy. I get an orc spearman and 23 gold if I do it. So we'll find out what you were asking mad about the multiracial armies. Night Guard is panicking. Okay, so I'll accept it. Okay, why not? Okay, I'm going to camp these guys. Well, actually, I'm going to bring them back. Come back home, boys. An army requires your orders. Uh, come back home, boys. Let's go see if we can take care of these undead. Where are the undead that I have to take care of? Let's come back. Come back, boys. I guess once you click your turn is over, you can't go back on it. Yeah, I've never seen a game that lets you do that. Now, where do I see my chest? Oh, oh yeah, you can. You can correct. go back. Oh, if the other people haven't finished their yeah. turns, well, that's nice. Okay, that's event history. Just right-click on that set state to. Where are my quests? I'm in the void. So I, I was seeing that I was losing good alignment points for killing units that are dedicated to good. It's so in the void. Are you in the void too? What are you talking about? Hmm? I'm in the void. That's being dead. That's when your oh. ruler dies. Where is this? I'm supposed to go help somebody with zombies. So where's that at? I'm trying to find my quest. Overview. Okay, defeat all rival. Into the undead scourge. Where's it at? Outpost of Ursfer. So where do I find these guys? Independence. Ursfer. Zorn. The lucky. I didn't realize that rushing production would uh, lower your morale. <laughs> oh, does it? Whoops. My alignment is now neutral. Where in the heck? Okay, so I'm. I have a quest from the outpost of Ursfer to. Um, go clear out the undead, but I don't know how to find them on the map. Any thoughts, questions, comments, war stories? On, on maybe how to find where they're at? Uh, what's that now? I'm supposed to go defeat undead at the outpost of Ursfor. Ursfor or something, but how do you find them? Who is this? Okay, that's have to explore. That's, I found them. Yeah. Well, I found them before, but they're not. They weren't showing up on the map for me like I wanted them to. But I found them. Okay, so my storehouse is finished. Um, I think it's time to. some more units here. Hmm. What did I, what have I produced? Got a, uh, merchandise. Okay. 
do some more units here. Roof, excellent. All right. Reduce bard. Bard? Yeah, bard. Bard. Perhaps he will have a tale to tell. All right. I'm just gonna wait for my guys to get back. Dude, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, yeah, I'm confirmed. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. All your different units level up too. It's kind of neat. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm pretty. So far, I'm pretty impressed. It's a good mix so far of hands-on and auto management and stuff. And stuff. waiting on you guys to finish your turns. Firm arm, okay, so we have, yeah. I want you to go back. Oh, Baradar the Bald has returned in Ballstone. Domain invasion at Ballstone. What the? Who's this? Who's invaded my domain? Independence, I'm at war. Probable victory. I'm gonna oh, go for that. To to All right, my hero Problem has returned. Victory. Let's see what. Apparently, we're I need to get some tougher time. troops. Look, how you doing there? We haven't heard from you in a bit. Doing good, just trying to figure this out. Where's my audio work? I have no sense of the. Are the sounds pretty good? Is it pretty good? You know, yeah. like battle yeah, sounds? Yeah, great soundtrack. And... Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's nice. Yeah, I really like the the stylized map. It's a really nice touch. I keep zooming in and out and looking at it. Kind of makes it feel a little bit more tactile. Yeah. Well, it's also when you zoom out and it switches to the stylized, it's really easy to see what where everything's at. You know, there's no clutter. Oh, I'm actually watching um, units move around on the stylized map. That's kind of cool. Man, I'm just being invaded left and right. People are boldly uh, screwing with my borders. Go get him. Get this guy out of my... Gonna end the turn? What the heck? Have a very likely echo the explosive. Uh, I'm gonna put my. I had that on mine too. Killed one of my troops. Well, he invaded my domain, so I'm about to. Um, Actually. Stomp on him. Yeah, later, dude. Don't invade my. Don't invade what? my domain. Oh. Hero leveled up. Cool. Uh, turn undead. That might be handy if I'm about to go. Mm. About to go yeah, there's an undead. enemy. Healing aura. Hmm. Okay, yeah, here's the healing aura. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, my hero's doing pretty well. Mm. Mm. 
Dwarf Deep Guard. He was a pikeman. It's called the Altipa. And a crossbow. Okay. I'm building a, a new army for my sadly defeated hero. Who the heck is this? No, I don't want to end the turn. Who is this? What is this? Oh, okay. The, I think those are guys maybe I just produced. Oh, this guy. oh that's my hero. No, stay here and I'll get back in the city right now. One thing, I need to get another city. Yeah, and how do you do that? What, what's the method on that? You either make a settler or you can take over somebody else's city. Man, some... I don't know, somebody hero just offered to join me. What's he cost? Nice! I have no troops with which to... Oh, this is a... Okay, Lelia the Shear. Looks like a drow. Level 2 sorcerer. Yeah, alright. I'll give you 150 gold. Jump on in there. Coming to You get a new hero too? Yeah. I think we all did. I got a hero. Well, it showed... You know, I was like, well, who's this... Who's this in my domain? And it said, uh... Like, they offered to join, I could either fight them or, um, or accept them, so. Fight. Fight, yeah, fight. <laughs> New skill. Fertility rates, re rice research. Population of empire grows 50% faster. Okay. What new research do I want? Inspire loyalty. Death march. Hasty plunder. Go with training regimen. So far, all of my um, choices are. I'm just going for a pretty straightforward warfare kind of empire. You stay right here, all. I'm about, I'm about to go undead hunting. Does that does that excite you? There's some special skills for that. Yeah, I saw there was a turn undead. What the? Oh man! No. Come here. An independent army engages your forces. Can I flee? Man. That just ticks me off. I cannot do anything. What is, what kind of, what is this guy? Dwarf Forge Priest. Alright, maybe he'll take out just at least one guy. Yeah, I didn't. Alright, that ticks me off. Very likely victory. If my he if my ruler dies again, I'm gonna be ticked. All right, I jacked him up like a jacked up thing. Who's this? Yeah, the lag's getting pretty bad. The what? The I lag. noticed the lag seems to be kind of bad in the beginning of the turn, but if you give it a few seconds, it kind of comes back up to speed. Yeah, 
it's lagging more and more. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Maybe it was hung up waiting for me to click OK on that. I haven't noticed a lot of bugs and glitches in this game. Yeah, it seems pretty smooth. The only problem I've had is, you know, trying to get the multiplayer working. And I think that's on my end. It's not necessarily the game. Is that an undead? He doesn't look undead. But I don't feel tardy. Let's go go. Two arms, men. Two arms. Probable victory. Hmm. I think that I will abort the attack and pull back. Nah, let's go for it. I'm living on the edge. Oh, my hero like you died. Won. Yeah, but my hero died. In the undead scourge. Or scourge. The Walking Dead, I did that. I got an orc spearman and 23 gold. I don't know if that was worth... Well, I know it wasn't worth my hero. Did you get any art pack? Huh? Did you get any, any artifacts? Is there a bag on the ground? Uh, I don't see anything. It's got an orc spearman and... I knew going in, I had a bad feeling about that. Oh, there is a bag. Item sack. Uh, you can pick these up with your leader hero and heroes or out. courier them to your leader and heroes with an army. So how do I do that? If you click on the item, you should have a whole option to courier. If he's dead... Yeah, there's the courier. Work. So I, I got a holy symbol here. Spirit ray. He shoots a spirit ray at target enemy. Uh, courier. I use one machine. Okay. So... Me? Well, my city's going pretty good. It's like we're waiting on. Yeah, I just finished my turn. Alright, finally. I need the settlers. Okay, now what? The army requires. build the city up a little bit. So if you courier something, is it there? Is it instant or? No, it takes a few turns. I got a wicked, wicked leather of the harlot, but it looks like it's definitely for a female character. I can't put it on him. That is rather strange. So how do I? Okay. So once a, a unit is damaged, how do you heal them? Just have to wait a few turns. Okay. All right, guys, y'all need to camp out. Where's this army at? I'll go ahead and bring these guys back. Got my little orc spearman. That was a bittersweet victory. Yeah, 
I just lost my army too. I am not making enough troops. That's what I'm starting to focus on. Is making troops and building stuff that, um, you know, kind of buffs up my troops and whatnot. And troops of God aren't very powerful. Waiting for other players. New day dawns. Confirm army movement. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You kind of need if you could upgrade your troops. Can you not? Well, they level up, but I don't think you can take one to a different tier, change into a different type. My mouse is not cooperating with me. What's up, little mouse? See if I can just go up and manually select the army. Okay. And the outpost of Imbold has a quest available. Let's check it out. The nerds are matter to discuss. It could improve the relation. The walking dead are haunting our domain. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Or experiment in 24 gold. And I'll accept it. Where are these guys? Are they way over there? Okay. I may not make it. Yeah. They are pretty far off. Seem to be have a lot of technical difficulties later lately. Now my mouse is acting all silly. All right, uh, what do I want to do? Click to end turn. New day dies. Uh, training regimen has been researched. High heel black leather boots. I keep finding all these items. For women. You know, this, whoever this is, I, I think Hingrid is probably female. I'll go ahead and give her those high heel black leather boots. Ingrid or Hingrid? Hingrid. You think she's a, uh, hey, you think a uh, transgender? No, I don't know. Maybe. Is that her in the city? How do I unstack somebody? The ruins. Mm hmm. You click on the army. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you like kind of double click and then you play around with it. You can it opens up and select the one you want to unstack and have them moved out of the army. Only six units allowed per army. One, two, three, four, five, so I should be okay. Oh, it's trying to put both units in. Okay. Okay, unstack. Oh, you get. Looks like you get two CDs now, huh, Matthew? Yeah, I built another one. It's real close to the enemy's borderline, though. It's probably going to come down and attack. Alright, so what now, did you say, Luke? How did you get Luke? another settler? How did you get another city? You have to build a workshop or something like that. 
I'm going into the, the two builders wonders. hut. You have to build some kind of structure that lets you build settlers and laborers. I okay, I got that in the queue. Yeah, yeah, uh, Jane, uh, it's not too hard to unstack the units. You just have to double click, double click them, and then you click on the circle of the unit you want to move out. Click that and then move them out. Well, I've done that. Hold on. Did they move out? Well, no. Okay, so I've clicked on the stack and I see, you know, the units that are in the stack. And then I've hovered over the one I move out and his little circle is highlighted. But I don't see... Okay, and then the I think you take that and you move it and then you go on the map and you select where you want them to move to. Yeah, I won't... Okay, hold on. Let me see if that works. Yeah, if I double click on them, it opens up their... Or even one click, it opens up their info window. Right, and did you do the uh, right click on your map to move them out? Well, I'm not sure that. I, like when I select them, it opens up their information, and then I can't right click on the map. Well, a uh, left click on the blue part of them. Ah. Uh, Aha! Uh -huh. What do you know? Loop to the rescue. And you can shift click to select multiple units so you don't have to do that every time. Okay, nice. Alright, I'm going to send this army over to see if I can collect on this quest. Luke, I'm going to... A veritable poorhouse of knowledge. Yeah. Luke, I'm going to invade your territory, so... I think I have open borders for you. Yeah, I don't think you can invade him. Yeah, I was just being facetious. An army requires my orders. Uh, you're gonna go right here, buddy. And then you're gonna camp and wait for more people to get produced. Hmm. You know, I should probably leave my hero, because I have my hero with my leader. <coughs> probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Oh, there's Baradir the Bald. That is me. And now this might, like this map might actually benefit from that that C ability. If I throw my hero at this uh, castle. I want to, uh, the computer players, I think I'm going down. So I just can't do that. I wonder how am I supposed to overcome this. What is it, Luke? If I throw my hero at this castle to my north, I know that it'll be a probable defeat. It I says might... probable defeat. Yeah, then I'm going to sacrifice, I think. I'm going to sacrifice one army, weaken it, and then well, go this, against it. You, you know, if you have adjacent armies, they'll attack together, right? No, I didn't know that. So the, yeah, if so they're you not stacked, get, but they're right next to each other? Yeah, if you surround a city, and like have the armies around the city, 
then they'll all join together in the battle. I wonder if two armies will go out, will help, will take the city for me. It'll be Leave nice to have another there. one, another city. Who am I waiting on? Who are we waiting on here? Is it Luke? No, we're waiting on Izzo. requires my orders yet we're not going anywhere yet because I'm still producing stuff with the city no 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 dang it don't move okay good Producing here. Okay, so I have a prospector. How do you create a prospector? Yeah, I've got a dwarf prospector. What is the unit that makes cities? Because I don't think I see anything like that. That's a settler. I don't. I can't make settlers. Evidently. You might have to build a structure first. Yeah, let's see what we got. Builder's Hall, Arena, Public Baths, Riders Hall, Merchandise, Build Housing, Increase Base Population Growth by 50%. Ooh, I like that. When does that come up? Be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more army before I do anything else. So let's make some crossbowmen. And let's make some axemen. A deep guard. What do you do, man? I'm back. All righty then. Do you have any British? Any British viewers? They always love the Americans' attempts at yeah, the, British accents. Yeah, the attempts. Yeah. All righty then. It's like when they try to do the Western or Southern accents or American accent. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. These goblin cities look like crawfish holes. And oh, I didn't know you could set from, a city rally point. Yeah, I saw that a second ago. And being from Louisiana, you and Luke would know what crawfish, ho crawfish holes look like, right? Yep. And I'm not saying all the time. Louisiana. I spent a lot of time in a Biloxi Gulfport area in Mississippi. I know that's not the same, but that because of that I spent a little bit of time in Louisiana. You guys ever been to, um, is it the Shreveport, Bossier City area? Oh, yeah. I took a... That's where I live. Really? That's where you're at? Well, I took a buddy mm -hmm. um, in the Air Force that got stationed at Barksdale, so I drove him down from Little Rock. And I've never seen such a 
clear difference between cities as I did, hold on, confirm army movement, what's this? All right, as I did uh, between Bossier City and Shreveport. And they just seem like, even though they butted right up next to each other and in the same urban sprawl, they just seem to be completely different cities. Really? Yeah. Because it seemed like, uh, I don't know, maybe it was just because it was the area around the Air Force Base, and traditionally areas around Air Force Bases um, are not the nicest areas in town. Doesn't the Air Force kind of attract a more intellectual crowd than the Army? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, that sounds like kind of a crappy thing to say, but it's true. I mean, you have to, uh, you know, you probably took the ASVAB test in high school, right? So, uh, and that's the arms, Armed Forces Services or Battery or something like that. Ooh, another, another quest. What's this quest? Yeah, I want to confirm Army movement. Some kind of quest, some kind of outpost join me. Uh, but yeah, the the requirements to get in the Air Force are the highest of of any of the services. But I mean, I'm you know I've, I've served with all branches, and there there are good, smart, great people in in all four. Yeah, sure. I mean, I know people from all the different yeah. branches, too. But, you know... I just I mean, noticed the guys from the Air Force and the Navy yeah, typically yeah, the Navy, seem to enjoy the experience more. Well, you know, the the, the quality of life, if you will. Hold on. We've got an urgent need to discuss. Infidels of internal lands. Okay, yeah. Ooh, an orc priest. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. Um, yeah, from my experience, the... For the most part, now we're generalizing, okay, we're not speaking specifics because there's always exceptions, but the Navy and the Air Force uh, do tend to attract, you We're know, probably going to ignite a global conflict with this conversation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you people know, people in the Army or, yeah, or whoever, gonna, whichever service you... Yeah. You know. And some people are, you know, very, very, uh, you know... Uh, like I've word? heard... Uh, Air Force people referred to derogator, derogator, what's derogatory, the word? derogatively. Yeah, derogatory. Yeah, derogatory. Is wing nuts or whatever. Well, like yeah, when I was just, at, you know, I, I don't know. Cushy every, lifestyle. Uh, well, it is. I mean, they, you know, the Air Force does tend to have the, or at least it did when I was in, the higher quality of living. Um, I mean, I could, you know, our dorm or barracks or whatever you want to call it. Uh, in Japan, like, was right next to the Army dorm, and you could walk across and go into the Army dorm, and, you know, you could see the difference in, you know, the, the dorms. Um, but, yeah, the, I, I'll tell you, the Navy guys actually impressed me a lot. Um, you know, I was in electronics repair, and the Navy guys knew their stuff big time, because when you're out on a ship, you can't always get replacement parts. Uh, you know, where the Air Force, we had what we called Swaptronics. It was like, don't even fix the component. Just put a new board in or put a new module in or whatever. Um, so if you're in the Air Force as an enlisted man, you never get to pilot anything, right? You have to no, be an uh, officer? Not gonna, yeah, you have to be an officer to fly. Now, in the Army... Um, they have these things called warrant officers that are sort of in between enlisted and commissioned, and they can fly helicopters, I think. So that's the misconception a lot of people have. Is, oh, join the Air Force to be Yeah, you'll fly, combat. right. Yeah, that's the most common question I used to get. You know, you fly, and it's a really small percentage of people in the Air Force that actually fly, as, as far as being pilots. Now, you have a lot of people who, you know, are, are support crew on planes or that have to be transported on planes. You know, and a lot of people that are constantly being flown around different parts of the world. But to actually be a pilot, yeah, you've got to be an officer. And then not every officer, you know, flies. So... But, I mean, you know, back to the original question, 
and it, and it sounds like a jerky thing to say, but it's statistical, it's provable, it's empirical that you know the the score requirements for the Air Force and the Navy are higher than the others, so they do tend to attract you know the people who are you know are scoring higher on the test. You know, and I mean the Army is well, nothing uh, wrong with that. I mean, not everybody's yeah. an egghead. Yeah, no, true. I mean, there's there's stuff that I've seen army guys can deal with that I mean, I got a major respect, you know, just cuz you're can take a test well or something like that, you know, doesn't always mean something. I mean, I think there's a lot to be said no, for this, just being You know, I know guys that, you know, they make good grades or they're good at math or whatever, but that doesn't necessarily mean they want to be behind a desk. Right. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, what a lot of people don't know is like SEALs and Army, you know, which are Navy, and then like Army Rangers and stuff. They're some of the most imaginative, creative, smart people out there. Uh, if you if you ever look at what they look for for like Navy SEALs, yeah, they want people who are tough, uh, but they also want people who are very creative and have IQs and are very intelligent. Because you get out there, you get dropped in the middle of a situation, and you got to start making it up as you go. And they want people who are very imaginative and very creative. Huh. Select. Oh, a hero offers to join. Who is this? Henna the Elder. Yeah, I'm getting more of these heroes than I have army. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Way too many. What's the phrase? Too many Too many chiefs. <laughs> Pardon me. I hit my new warriors. I hit my mute button on my uh, headset, forgetting I wasn't using my headset microphone, so I apologize for that. Talent scout. In the Undead Scourge. I, I, I did complete it? Uh, oh, I mean, they must have attacked me. Because uh, I, I completed a quest without even trying to, unless somebody else did it. Luke, did you go up there and kill the Undead? I think I did, yeah. Okay, There's so since so since we were both on the quest, and I guess allies, I got credit for that too. I was like, I did not do anything. Select skill to research. Um, Have some crows. I'm trying to get a better spell than the stupid crows thing. Rugged pioneers. Raise militia. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Okay. Um, so where's my army? I was sending an army over to kill the undead, but Luke killed the undead for me. So I will. I'm starting to see some pretty crazy creatures show up on the map. I think that's, that's like a dragon or a, or a griffin or something. Casting Catalyst. Provides an additional 20 or 30 mana. So I guess if you're standing on that while you're fighting, then you get a bonus, maybe. Okay. No, I don't want you to move. I just want to look at how big my army is here. Right. So what I want to do? You are going to camp until I can get you an army built up. All right. What do I want to do now? What is that thing there with a the skull? That kind of skull castle loop that's next to one of your armies. Dungeon. Ooh, dungeon. Unexplored. Yep, I'm doing it. Go for it. Right. So you get, are you gonna do a metro? Uh, metro? Are you gonna do a retrospective on this, Matt? Or a, you know, an episode on this one? I was thinking about it. 
Where's uh, is it Max? Your friend Max? I haven't seen him in a while. He goes through phases where he doesn't game for a while. You guys were like high school buddies. Yeah. Yeah, he gets to a place, he gets some friends, he starts going out on the weekends. And <laughs> to quote him, you know, getting a life. Right. Oh, it looks like you're... Oh, that's... Is that another city you expanded? Or is did your goblin outpost... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have settlers, so... I guess I have to conquer cities to expand. Well, no, 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 no. You have to build a special structure. Yeah, but I don't see what the structure is. Go to your city, click on the upgrades tab. Oh. Should have something there like uh, builders hall, I think. It's called. I, yeah, I got that. Oh, dwarf settler. Okay. You have a builders hall. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, that makes sense. City options, raise, plunder. Can you have two heroes in the same army? Yeah, I think. You can, but oh. it's not, it's not very, you, it's not ideal. Yeah, you lose some, well, like, you can only cast one like... spell. Well, also, some of their special abilities won't kick in if they're not the leader of the army. Alright. The army requires your orders. Okay, my spear guys, so. I don't know what to do with these guys. Yeah, I think that's kind of poor design, or... I don't know if they meant that on purpose, where Luke finished the quest and I got the benefit as well. Because I got gold and I got a... We're on teams. Yeah. I'm trying to move this guy. My mouse is acting funky. I'm starting to wonder if I've got just general computer problems. Probably. Alright. Yep. It's I'm not gonna go to the dungeon. Units fast enough. Go to the dungeon. Go to the dungeon. Go These tier to... one units just aren't very useful after a certain point. Clicking in the turn, but it's not doing anything. Yeah, same thing. Oh, I haven't ended my turn yet. There it goes, waiting for the place. Well, I think I'm just having issues with two more batteries in my mouth. My mouse. Sounds like I'm loading again. Okay, guys, I'm coming. If you build a laborer, you can build fortresses that expand your territory for you. A little easier than building a settler. They don't expand into bigger towns or anything, though. So, what difficulty level did you set this game on, Matt? Uh, easy or normal, I think. Let's go into the dungeon. What happens when I go into the dungeon? Uh, an army requires your orders. So into the dungeon now. What? That's kind of boring. I explored. We'll explore the dungeon. Apparently, somebody just joined my army. Maybe you can't explore dungeons in auto in multiplayer mode. No, you can't. 
sitting on top of it and nothing be happening. I might have to exit out the, off the tile and go back and then hit enter. Oh, here we go. Unexplored legendary. Hmm. I don't know if I want to go into a legendary dungeon right now with my leader. But you know what? I'm feeling. Oh, dang it. It might let you back out. I'm entering it. Probable defeat. Uh, what's in here? Two fire wyverns, a draconian phalanx, draconian monster hunter. Yeah, I'm backing out. Run away! Run away! And Sir Stacks bravely yeah. run away. When danger reared its ugly head, Sir Stacks turned his tail and fled. I've captured a watchtower. The structure was undefeated. Right. I'm going to hang right here for a second. This guy here who wants to go to war with me, Colm the Lucky, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can engage in some warfare. I'm not worried about winning this time around. I just want to kind of play with the game. Well, my people are happy. That's a good thing. Happy, happy people. How do you see that? Do you go to your city or something? Yeah, it's a little face on your towns. Oh, okay. Content. Let's see. Let's see if I can combine some armies, take out some of these ruins. Okay. So this hero has a full army, so I'm going to send them up because they're going to... I'm going to do the classic pincer movement on... Uh, uh, the pincer movement. Yeah. Pincher or pincer? Pincer. Yeah. Pincer. Pincer. The classic pincer movement on Om the Lucky or whatever his name is. I just researched raise militia. Calls the Empire citizens to battle. Instantly deploys an irregular unit at target known city at a cost of a negative 100 citizenry. Right. Ooh, produce Berserker. Warfare 2. Yeah, I'm going to research Cockatrice, cockatrice. Uh, you know what we don't see enough of in games? We need to see. I, I think they're underrepresented. That would be the the humble owl bear. <laughs> I haven't really messed with the diplomacy yet. Yeah, me either. Diplomacy, diplomacy, sword diplomacy, baby. Metropolis of Bullstone. I'm a metropolis now. Mm -hmm. Got two armies that I'm about to uh, drop on this guy. And I've got a third Bruin.
city is looking pretty smooth. What you think about my metropolis there, Luke? I know you got a couple of guys parked up. Oh, that's your metropolis. My bad. I was bragging on my own <laughs> metropolis, and it was Luke's. My, my metropolis does not look as good as yours. You've got these nice spires and stuff. I've got these what does your look? What it's does kind of like, like hexagonal, kind of almost like Middle Eastern stuff stacked on top of itself. Or stuff stacked on other stuff. Let's see what Matt's looking like over here. With his goblin. His uh, shrimp holes or whatever. I see, I just can't. Ew. Yeah, you're... You've got like... What is this? Gee, thanks. <laughs> Well, I misunderstood something for a second because you've got these sort of red uh, daggers circling your city, and at first I thought it was like nasty smoke or something. Actually, a spell what is that, that? It's a spell that improves the morale. At sword point. You guys are using your spells, right? Nope. You got spells nope. you can use on the main map. You can summon monsters. Where is it? Give your you city's buffs. You just hit your mana? All that kinds mana of thing? Hit that star down there okay, next to the map. Yeah. I've got Authority of the okay, Sword. I have, a, uh, I have a spell that says it's rare to cast. How do I cast it? Click on oh. it. Forces neighboring lands to submit to the Empire's rule through demonstration of military power. Target friendly city gains plus one domain radius. Raise militia. Well, I don't want to cast that. Dang it, I just want to look at it. Calls the Empire Citizens to battle. Okay, so... 30 casting points and 30 mana. So how do you tell... Okay, I think I... So some of these are persistent, and they cost stuff per turn. Ooh, I'm going to use this Dread Sage on the guy I'm about to attack. Oh, I don't have enough mana. Yeah, I do. I have a ton of mana. I don't have enough casting points, though. Empire suffer a negative 500 penalty to this. Huh. Alright, well, that's cool. An army requires my orders. Uh, you have no orders yet, so you get some more folks. So I'm going to put you on camp. You are going to keep going. Yeah, I wish I had enough points for that Dread Siege, because it's a pretty nice spell. So where do you live uh, exactly, Luke? Are you in Shreveport, Bossier City? I live in Shreveport. You live in Shreveport? Is that where you're from too, Matt? Mm -hmm. No, we're, no. We're, we're both from uh, a little city. Village. No. Luke just cast a spell too. So what spell is that? I don't have that. That thing that's circling your city. It's called uh, Arm You have to do your research. What am I researching right now? I'm researching warfare. I'm trying to think of where I've been into in Louisiana. Of course, I've been in New Orleans. Uh, where else have I been? Been to Slidell. When I was in the Air Force in Biloxi, a lot of us would go to Slidell sometimes. Slidell. Slidell. I'm in Bossier. And why, why were y'all going to Slidell? There was a... For some reason, I don't know why we went there, but... 
there was a club there called Phase Five that a lot of people would go to. And was it because of the at that time was the drinking age lower in Louisiana? I can't remember. Did you ever go to Leesville or Fort Polk? <clears throat> no. Never New Orleans? Yeah, I've been to New Orleans. Yeah. Been to New Orleans a few times. I'll tell you, I went to Mardi Gras when it was in full swing. And even, I was like 18, 19, you know, and all I really want to do is kind of have fun and drink and all that. And I thought Mardi Gras was way too much. I did not want to go back. It was crazy. It was like, I mean, at one point the crowd, like, literally picked me up off my feet and carried me about 10 feet and dropped me again. I was like, I, this is too many wow. people. Yeah, this is a lot. <laughs> and this, we were watching a parade and some guy picked a fight, threw a punch, and I literally watched the whole fight, like, ripple out through the crowd. And I was like, this is, this is crazy. Now we're talking like the you know nighttime full on party. We're not talking about just Mardi Gras parades or, or that stuff. This was just the insanity that was. Uh, was it Bourbon Street, the Bourbon French Quarter area? Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean it was it was just ridiculous. But you know, just going and visiting New Orleans and walking around and being a tourist and all that that was that was cool. Select production for Bullstone. Okay. Uh, well, I'm producing merchandise, so why do I need to select production? I guess I'll go ahead and. Hmm, Alignment uh, change is slightly good. Yeah. They're pretty big to me. So, growing up in Louisiana, like, what... I'm getting a sense, like, over the years that Mardi Gras isn't just about getting stupid drunk in New Orleans. So, like, growing up in Louisiana, huh? was it a big deal in y'all's town? Did y'all have, like, Mardi Gras parades and all that? Or did y'all do the cake with the baby in it and all that? No, not so much. Not, not so much us. We're a northern. We're more like Alabama, really. Now, one thing different about us is we get out, like in college, you get out Mardi Gras break. Right. Well, I know in Louisiana and certain areas, we're like heavy French or kind of Cajun areas. I guess more French. Um, that it's a really huge deal, right? I guess really Mardi Gras is kind of a. Does it have Catholic roots? Where Where does the Mardi Gras origin? Good question. I think it's Catholic. Because it isn't doesn't it have something to do with like party as much as you can and have fun before Lent starts? Doesn't mean yeah, isn't it's that Fat kind of, Tuesday. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Fat Tuesday is right before it, right? Right. Or is that after? Well, Fat Tuesday is like the pinnacle of Mardi Gras, isn't it? My hero leveled up, and I have no idea why. Uh, armor piercing, I like yeah, that. Yeah, that happens occasionally. Uh, blood honor, what is that? All units in the hero's army gain warrior's honor. Warrior's honor. Okay. Ranged command. Giant slayer. Monster slayer. Wall climbing. Attacks of opportunity and retaliations? What in the... I've got nine upgrade points. So I guess I can do more than one upgrade here? Is that what's happening? Okay. Right. Hold on, this is for, I can't tell if the game is acting wrong or if it's my... Okay, I see. Uh, 
probably running into the enemy AI a bit too much. I'm gonna have to try to take over some of his towns. Okay, so depending on how many upgrade points you have, you can do multiple upgrades. That's right. Um, that's nice. Overwhelm. Just because I like the sound of it, I'm going to give my leader martial arts. I mean, because why not, right? Martial arts, baby. One upgrade point left, so I'm gonna give him plus one range strength. I wonder if we attack together, if it would pull in each other's troops. How would uh, that work exactly? I don't know. Who would get to get to take it? Okay, so I am. You've captured a watchtower. Okay, so I am ready to begin attacking. Chumperham Lincoln here. What's his name? Comb the Lucky. Let's see how lucky he really is. Mm. Mm -hmm. I might try to come up there and help you out. How, I many, have a, how many rounds would it take you? Because I can hold off if you want to. I can get one hero with a pretty good sized army up there next turn. Okay. I'll wait for you then. And I'm building another army down here that's coming along pretty nicely. Just need one more. Uh, am I, what am I producing? Oh, dang it. Oh, well, I've got that. Okay, I can go ahead and bring them up because I have a loose unit. I was one short of having a full army, but I forgot to have a loose unit up there, so I'm going to go ahead and bring them up. Another hero? Damn. <laughs> Who is this? Yes. Uh, Hinania. Hinania. Way too many the, of these heroes. The Hinania the Penniless. Goblin Theocrat. Uh, anyway, I'm going to research. Hey, there I am, right below one of your armies. Alright. I see, so... Huh. I think that I'm going to reject this hero. I wonder what a theocrat brings to the table. I'm going to decline you. Yeah. Thanks for the offer. Production for Bullstone. Uh, let's do some more. What's the arena do? An arena. Alright, let me go up here, Luke, and see what's going on. I'm going to send my hero in. Go! Very likely to feed. Oh, dang. Oh, so if you attack the city, then uh, you have to fight every day. Okay, I thought I was fighting one 
at a time. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to take us there. I don't know how you're supposed to take all that. That's three. We usually get more than one arms. army together. Yeah, I'm gonna because I'm not really worried about winning this game tonight. Just to see how this all works, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and check don't it don't out. attack it yet, man. Wait until I can get up there. I think with all of us combined together, going one after the other, we can take it. Okay, well, I I'm thought right you were I thought you were like ready to attack like next round. So it gonna... took me it took me one turn to get up here and another turn to make it up to that castle. Alright. I'll be back then. Yes. I'm right by your army down here by this one watchtower. Yeah, I see him. Okay. I'll I wait. got two sixes. And I've got another i I've got another mm -hmm. army coming up too, so maybe we can just wait for that one. Because it'll be there in a couple turns. It'll be there in like three turns. You want to get in on this mad action, Matt? <laughs> you guys go ahead. Yeah, after this all resolves with the, uh... Seeing if we can take this empire out or not, I'll probably have to go ahead and call it a session. I thought you could only play for like 45 minutes, hard. Luke. What was that, Matt? I really did. I really... I wanted only to play that, but I, I, I'm like, yeah, I think once we attack this, that would be a good stop. Aww, somebody just took my city and conquered it. What, your throne city? No, just... Oh, that little outpost? One of my other cities that didn't have any defenders on it. Echo the explosive. Dang, man. Are you going to take that laying down? Man... Matt, you've got like someone just attacked Matt City. He's got Matt's got like a ton of little outposts, or at least two. Oh, man, Matt City, my big Man, I got this guy's continuing to. I'll go ahead and take him. That that hero came back and was like, oh, "Are you sure you don't want me?" Would the turn start over? It seems like I'm doing the same stuff I did last time. Am I a little crazy here? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Huh. I think I can. I think I see what's going on. Let's I guess it's shrine. probably for your best interest to defend your city a little better in this game. Yeah, leave at least one. I almost lost my city just then. I actually, I did. You got stuff like walls you can build. Dude. I can't tell if the interface on this game is kind of messed up or if it's my mouse. Alright. Okay, so, Luke, are you ready? Can you attack this turn? Not quite. Okay. I can move up here, and then I will be able to attack next turn. Okay, like I said, I have one more army coming. Let me see. They'll be there in... They'll be there in two turns. So maybe we should wait till then. Can you move your one army up just a hair on this one watch tower where I can move in? To the watchtower? Yeah. Where I can move into the watchtower. Uh well I've got there's two I don't it won't matter. Well I'm saying what's the Because I can come in and with the watchtower. Um I can um, move up it 
Yeah, I'll move him up. You're wanting me to move him one up from the watchtower? Is that what you're asking? There, yeah, just or whatever. Then right. I can move in. Oh, I see. Okay, I got you. I was blocking the other guy from coming in. I thought you were talking about the, the unit above the watchtower. I thought you wanted to back him up. Okay. I'm going to end the turn. I should be able to attack the castle next turn. Okay. And I'll have another army coming in, so... I'm going to click the end turn, and then I use the rest room, and I'll be right back. So Matthew, are you still there? Yeah. How do you attack with multiple armies in this? All right, I'm back. Have to have them adjacent. Okay, I got these so, armies to chase them. Okay. So, so this is adjacent nice. around the border. Huh? My hero just. You got them around the city. Yep. When you set around the house, do you set around the house? When you look at the menu, do you say yeah? If so. I don't know why they think of that. Maybe, you may be a candidate. When you try to attack the city, it should show you if you get the other armies close enough to join in. Okay, uh, okay Shane, you want to move on up? Yeah, hold on. I'm upgrading my hero real quick. I don't okay, know if it's going to let you guys team up or not. Well, okay, so what's our plan here, Luke? Um... How do you want to do this? I'll tell you what. Let me send in just to see well, what happens. Well, it would be awesome. It would be awesome if they would let us team up and do it. That would be the best thing. I don't we think... we all kind of gathered... Well, here's what I'm going to do. You know, it might. I'm going to I'm gonna send... And I know this army is going to get its butt kicked. But just to see what happens, I'm going to send them in. No, wait, wait. Let's try to send them all in. Oh, wait, we if are we teaming up. Look, we are teaming up. Look, it says probable victory, and it's showing my army and your army. See that? Cool. Okay, now bring your other army up just in case. You have another well, army. Well, I've, right, let's, I've, let's I've got to resolve the combat first. Okay. Well, this is probable victory. Let's go at it. Let's right. go. I mean, we've got other armies to bring up, because this is only one of your armies and one of my armies. We've got really, a, I have two armies up here. Yeah, but I think it's only bringing in one right now because those are the two that are right next Weird. to each other. Okay. Auto combat. You might need Wait. to move that one guy closer, Luke. Wait, can I go to? Can you resolve? Get out and let me try to. I have one in the middle. Maybe I can go to the war the one in the middle, and I'll bring in the mall in. All right, hold on. Well, you got one. That guy on the left is not close enough. Okay, you see. You got to get him right up next to the city. Well, here's the thing. When I attack then I'm getting the benefit of that one army that is right next to me. That army of... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, move the other one right next to him, see? I don't know if that'll... How many... Let me see how many... Like, next to the out. town. Move them yeah. right on top of those houses. Right here? Who's the white guy? That's me. Luke. Luke, see, so I move think that if I attack behind, now... Move him right next to the town. So you got him behind. You want him right next to the city. I'm confused now. Hold on. Because I don't think so I'm going to get Move him, like, to that tile. 
to the north, just to the northwest of your other dude. You talking to Luke I or me? I can't move up. I, I'm, I'm on a lot of moves Luke. now. All right, see, uh, now uh, I'm still getting the benefit of your army, but only one army. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. This still yeah, showing a problem. You see, it's because that one guy behind, he's behind him instead of right next to the city. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and do the you combat. You have to surround the city. Because we've got other, we have other armies that can come up. So I'm going to okay, go yep. do the combat. Go ahead with the attack. All right, we hey, won. won. Um, I took some pretty heavy moved. loss. Yeah, you got to move into the city to, to claim it. I lost four. You lost four. But we kept our heroes. Yeah. I wish there was a way I could get my hero out, but I don't know. All right. Yeah, so, I can. I can move my hero. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna retreat my one hero. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna move them back to. Hey, if you want to bring in your other army up. Yeah, so I'm about to. You guys need to move into that center of the city so you can claim the town. We're, we're trying, Matthew. We're trying. It's tough. I, I, I lost my whole army just Yeah, there. but it's undefended right now. Well, they've still got a couple of armies. I don't know if we've cleared out the whole city. We've cleared out some of it. I can't quite tell. Okay, move back. I can't, man, this is frustrating. I don't know if it's lag. I don't know if it's my mouse. There it goes. All right. So I'm going to move Luke. I have some treasure there. Yep, a little bit. Honor, call him the lucky. Okay, hold on. Alright, now I'm coming up with my leader. Okay, go ahead. And I'm just going to move into the city of the city and see what happens. Okay, that's a very likely defeat. Because I'm not getting the benefit of your army. So what I need you to do is, okay. is move your guy up okay, like Okay, I'm on a lot of moves. I'm Are all you? out of moves on that one hero. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move that back. That might be then. why you're not getting the benefit. Yeah, I'm not getting any benefit. So I'm going to move him back. And then maybe mm -hmm. next turn we can give it a shot. We can maybe take the city. Yeah. Okay. Army requires yours. Yeah, we'll just camp him for right now. And I have, like I said, I have one more army coming up. Camp out for the second. From army movement. Yeah, they're on the way. So, yeah, I don't know if you saw that other army coming up, but... I see it. Yeah. And I'm going to join them up with that. So I think we'll still be able to take the city. And who still requires my orders? Yeah, I just camp out for the sake of buddy. Alright, I'm ending my turn. New day dawns. Select production. Okay, so. I don't know if this is so frustrating. Hello, mouse, click. I'm clicking. You might need a new mouse, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. It's very frustrating. Is it doing it in Probably just lag. It's either that That's or that. my guess. Ooh, I got a Jor Forge Priest. I want to produce one of these. Why not? This sounds fun. I think there is a little bit of lag going on in this game, but I don't think that's what's happening to my mouse. Army requires orders. Right. Okay, I'm up here and I'm ready to attack. Okay, what we need to do is get... Okay, there you are. Let me move up next to you. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to move up next to you. One thing I'm noticing with this game, if it's if it's like an army requires orders, then if you're trying to move something else, it's like forcing you to address the army that it wants you to deal with right then, which is slightly annoying. You can give them the camp or yeah, select a different army. Uh, okay, so where am I at? This is you. Movement points. Okay, I'm gonna bring them up. Okay, Luke. Now I'm coming up next to you, and then you can you can attack with your bad self, should you so choose. All right. See what happens then. Okay. Here we go. Are you getting my benefit of being next to you? Not very likely defeat. I don't think we're close to each other enough. Try to can you move up closer to Fami? Yeah, hold on. Okay, try okay here we go. Try it again. Closely matched. What you think? Mm. Well, we've got other armies. I say, to let's bring go up. for it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not worried about winning this. I just want to see how things work. Battle lost. Oh crap! So we we heard them pretty to, good. Yeah, we heard them. I lost my hero again, or my leader. I lost my leader or my hero. All right. Hey, it's all up to your other armies, man. All right, we'll see. That. Maybe if we keep up the pressure on them, we can hurt it. Evidently, when your leader gets defeated, there's, it throws your empire into some kind of chaos. Yeah, doesn't like it. Okay, let me see what I can do. She's going in. Very likely defeat. Oh well, let's go for it. Um, didn't hurt them anywhere near as much as I wanted to. I only took out two units and they wiped out my whole army. I've got one other army. Come on, guys. Go get them. Woohoo. Very likely defeat. Let's see if I do anything at all. Battle lost. I heard him a little bit, but he's hanging in there. So I'm sure there's all kinds of strategy that, you know, like with spells and this and that and the other and that we're not employing. But that pretty much wiped out everything, <laughs> so that's pretty much me done for this game. But I was curious to see how that worked. I don't know. I, I kind of like this game. I could see myself playing quite a bit of it. What do you guys think? I like it. I know the Good. other day. I know the other day, Matt. You said you gave it like a six or a seven. What are you thinking? <clears throat> what? Probably go up to like a seven. Maybe. Yeah. You see, maybe an eight? I don't know. If I'm still playing this a couple weeks from now. Well, I kind of feel like. I'm still playing this a couple months from now, you know. It's, is this going to be a Civ replacement? Eh.
Well, here's, I mean, so far it's pretty fun. It's got that, let me see what happens next, one more turn kind of feeling going on. Haven't even touched on diplomacy yet, and I haven't seen the, um, where you, where you go in and work on, uh, managing your combats to where it turns into, is it, it's still turn-based, it's not real-time on the combat, right? But you go in and actually run your combats with your armies and whatnot. Yeah. So is that, I mean, did that feel... That makes a pretty big difference, yeah. That, did that feel fun? Did it, you know, have a pretty good... Did it feel like just a little yeah, ta like, tacked-on minigame? I like that manual it? combat quite a bit. Okay. Right. You guys well, guys, ready to call it a night here? Night. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. Yep. One, I'd have to start completely over because I've, I mean, I've wiped out the last two hours of production trying to take that, um, take that empire. Um, in you can do the manual combat in multiplayer mode, but just everybody just has to watch you play. Oh no, this is cool. Uh, you dropped out, and it says, you know, Matt Barton is disconnected from the game. What would you like to do? And I can con I can set a difficulty level and continue with AI. So, you know, you can still keep playing the game. Or you can surrender the player. So I surrendered. So that's neat. I, you know, kind of like it. Looking forward to playing with the combat and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. All right. I like. It. You guys I give it a good night. Yeah, I would give it an eight. Give it an eight. An eight. eight? An an ocho. Yeah, I would. I mean, I mean the graphics are nice. It yeah. has a good. <laughs> has a has has a very nice little layout. I like it, and I like the different leaders you can pick. Yep. I like I like the fantasy setting a lot. Yep. Uh, I'll get back to the main menu here. Nice, very nice little presentation overall. And I haven't played a game like that in forever. Oh, here's some statistics. The last, the last game I played like that was Might of Magic, I think. Now this is interesting. Uh, okay, so Echo the Explosive was doing the best. Zorn the Discipline was second. Comb the Lucky was third. Luke, you were actually doing the best out of the uh, human players. That's usually uh, the case. Oh, and he's humble too. Uh, I was I was uh, second to last, and the rat the rat was last. That was only on overall I score. Matthew, I thought Matthew was doing the best. Well, that's I overall the score. Most. The domain score, uh, no, he's still last. Hold on. Knowledge. Oh. Knowledge. Oh, well, I could have been last on domain. Well, I'm just looking. Happiness. I don't know. I mean, there's some statistics here I'm looking at. So. We had like seven, seven cities going. Uh, well, this is on turn 33, so it's not doing it as an average of the whole game. You can click through and, and look at it turn by turn. So that was uh, that was at the last. Overall score. Um, let's see. Yeah, the AI was basically ahead of us the whole game. So, neat little statistics. Not bad. All right. Well, guys, thanks for playing. Um, just double check. You guys totally cool with me throwing this out unedited, just slapping it out there on YouTube as a Let's Play. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can uh, share the link on my Facebook page. Okay. Too. And uh, so, for those of you the the uh, ravening ones or twos who may actually end up watching this, um, thanks <laughs> thanks so much for watching this wow. sloppy, unedited. No, my my audience is not big yet at all. So um, now maybe for a newer game like this with Age of Wonders, you know, may may pick up a few views. But uh, I'm just starting. How long did it take you, Matt, to get your viewership up? And see, you've got an interview show, which has a completely different... You know, still not up. But you're, you've got like 10,000 subscribers, right? 
Well, you know, if anybody can subscribe to a channel, doesn't mean they actually watch. watch. Yeah. All right. I'd say well, probably 10% of those subscribers actually watch. Right. Well, for the ravening hordes of unstoppable viewers in, a, in, in, in the optimistic uh, vein, thanks so much for watching this. Shane plays Let's Play Sloppy, having no clue what we're doing, just jumping in and uh, blundering around in Age of Blunders 3. Thanks so much.